Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into my June 1st haul. There's a lot of Lego stuff here that was shoved into one bag from the Lego store and it's super exciting and uh, let's go ahead, let's take a look at what I got. So up here at the very top is probably one of the most exciting things for me personally. This is one of the city sets. Didn't realize we were getting the jungle sets here on June the 1st in North America everywhere. So this is the brand new uh, set with not Johnny Thunder, but it definitely is him. And this is sold out in some countries already because people are just so excited to have him in such a cheap set. I also think that the Red Panda is a very big draw, so that's pretty exciting. The other really small set that's sold out pretty much everywhere so far is this, the new Captain Rex Y-Wing Micro Fighter. Super exciting set to be getting this crazy Rex figure in such a cheap way. I mean, it's like 18 bucks here, which isn't too cheap. But uh, this is pretty exciting. This is one of the new Disney sets. Again, wasn't sure that we were getting all this on June the 1st. I love this a lot. It is Snow White's jewelry box. And if you look at this, you could see that it's sort of like the exact box from the movie, which I think is really crazy. But you could store the jewelry inside and you've got a couple of different rooms and different things. I'm so excited to build that. And I've got an idea for what I'm going to do for that. Uh, when you spend a certain amount for City, you get this little promo, Dreams Ninjago, and I think another theme I don't really recall. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen or on screen now to show you the advertisement. But yeah, this is the water park set. Small little thing. Not sure if I'm going to open this for myself or just keep it to sell eventually. I like the life preserver there. That's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, fun little small promo that they've got going on. Uh, let's talk about what this white poster is here with this. This is the new Brickhead set from Inside Out 2. You get sadness, joy, and anxiety. I really hope that we get the rest of the emotions over the next few years to complete everyone out, including the old and new characters would be really great to see. But speaking of Inside Out 2, this is not a paid promotion, but in the center of the mall at Sherway Gardens, there's this Inside Out 2 experience where you can, you know, play, and it's a photo opportunity, play a bunch of different memory games, but also adults get uh, this really cool concept art, which is on like this hard card stock. Then also you can get this. It's a small little movie poster, which I think was a lot of fun. Fun little photo opportunity there in the center and like to push all the buttons on the mood board, I think is really fun. But anyways, let's continue with the Brickheads. We've got here Mirabelle from Encanto, which is a really strange new box, by the way. All of them have really interesting boxes, especially, let's see, I'm gonna skip ahead to this over here slide this one out. I've never seen a Brickheads box like this. It is really weirdly shaped. Um, but yeah, this is up. Really exciting to have these characters. First ever Lego Kevin is super exciting. Wish Doug was here, but uh, maybe they'll do something with Carl. I don't know. But anyways, let's wrap things up with these Brickheads, which is Lord of the Rings here themed, which is really great. Legolas and Gimli. Awesome to have more people from the Fellowship here. And I'm excited to add them to the collection. I already got Barad Dur from uh, Lego, and I should be getting the promo from them soon. So that's exciting. But let's keep going with the Disney stuff. We've got Moana's Flower Pot, which surprisingly sold out so quickly. I think people are really loving these botanical sort of sets, but being Disney themed. So I'm going to assume we get more and more of these. I'm going to guess Rapunzel has to happen with her flower. It just it honestly makes the most sense. Uh, we've got another Disney set, which is the one that I'm most looking forward to from this new batch. It is Maleficent's Dragon Form and Aurora's Castle. I love the castle. It's simple. All the vines and different things. Prince Philip is great, but this dragon build is on a whole other level. I'm just so excited to build this. And if you didn't know, this is actually replaced a set that we had known about for a while so definitely check out a video i'm gonna link it up on screen now if you want to check that out but there's one other thing here and it is this disney set this is the mini disney sleeping beauty castle it is a part of that collection of the micro scale disney builds but it comes with a minifigure which is great that we're going back to minifigures would have loved an exclusive aurora but i get why they didn't do it but i love all the different colors there and the different pinks and the sand blue looks amazing and down there looks awesome i'm so excited to build this
And last but certainly not least, we've got a couple of city stuff here to wrap things up. We've got this really awesome double-decker sightseeing bus with a bunch of new torsos and outfits for everyone. Looks amazing. And then over here on the back, you can see just some of the play features. Oh my goodness. And then this is another really hot set that people are so excited about. It is the Lego delivery truck with just so much going on here. A ton, and I mean a ton of Lego sets. I believe they're all prints and I'm so excited for that. I love some of the figures in here too, but to get micro small little versions of the sets uh, in that style is awesome. So cool, love this concept. I've always wanted one of these yellow trucks, so to finally have it here, so, so excited. I did get one other thing, not from the Lego store. It was this, by the way, I just thought I'd include this. It was actually 30% uh, off at Chapters. I've been waiting for this thing to go on sale. I think I paid 16 bucks for this thing that I haven't even seen the movie for. It was this Disney Plus thing. No one watched, no one bought the set. It's retiring soon and I needed it for uh, the book collection. So I'm excited to add it there now that I've got this and I still need the Little Mermaid one from last year too. But what was in the black bag? Well, I did something, I don't know, sort of stupid, maybe, we'll say. If you didn't know, this week it was uh, recently revealed, but you, know, you see that logo? We got a pop here, a Funko Pop, my first ever one that I'm actually collecting and probably opening. You can see here we've got new Shrek ones. We've got the Hot Topic exclusive here, this Angry Shrek, which I'm very excited about. And you can see all the other ones on the back. So who do we got here? We got Shrek, who's got uh, the snake there on the stick. We have Donkey over here, which uh, he's got the pixie dust sort of flying around him, helping him fly. We have here Puss in Boots, sad little expression. And then who else? We've got uh, Fiona here with a frog, which looks great. And then also here we have Gingy, which just looks adorable with the little cane. And there was also a little mini series, like a mystery series, and they had like a bunch of characters. So I'm going to assume that they're all going to eventually come as large pops. And I think I'm probably only going to collect Shrek. Man, loving these so much. And, uh, you know, Fingers crossed for Lego Shrek. We're still waiting to hear and see what's gonna happen with that. Hopefully soon we'll know. Anyways, everyone, this is my June 1st haul. At least everything that I bought specifically today. Wasn't expecting this. I've always said for a while, I have two emotions when it comes to Funkos. Uh, specifically one, fear. This better not awaken anything in me. And then my immediate reaction afterwards was this. What have I done? So yeah, uh, I'm, I'm still happy about this and I'm excited to see where Shrek goes. And even if I, you know, don't wind up, you know, buying them all or whatever, I could always sell these because the old ones are super expensive. But yeah, super excited to build these. Let me know which ones you want to see me do reviews of first. I already know which ones for sure. This, this is first. This started everything for me. So I'm so excited to have that. I do have an order coming from uh, Europe because there's other sets that I'm not getting until August 1st that we need to review here on the channel, so stay tuned for that. So we're probably gonna have a video unboxing that box whenever it arrives, hopefully this week. And also just let me know if there's anything else that maybe I should be getting, importing in, that you wanna see me review. So comment it down below. Like, are you interested in Jurassic stuff? I don't know, should I get them? Let me, let me know, comment down below. But thank you guys for putting me in this position to buy all this on this day. I'm so excited to build some of these Disney princess stuff, which is not something I ever would have thought and ever would have thought that I'd be doing a Funko haul, but be sure to subscribe, turn the bell notification so you don't miss out on future Lego reviews. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you all have a great day. We'll see you all in the next one.